we are three exchange students from India and uh, we have been here for two semesters and which was quite an experience, an experience. yes yeah. we decided that we should go on an exchange to this university because the place is awesome and the university is also very cool Every semester for the exchange students there is this studio on tectonics and alpine survival. It's very interesting, I mean you don't get such projects in other countries, you, ha you have to be specific to your country. In Switzerland you have different standards for everything, it's completely different from India. Uh, when you're looking at the climate, when you're looking at the laws, when you're looking at policies, it's completely different. So this semester our professor brought in a really interesting concept that was to include the very essence of a particular location. We have this village here located on a hill and our aim is to develop a tower for this particular site. We wanted to understand what is exactly the vernacular traditional architecture of Switzerland and for that we also went to Balenberg which is a collection of old Swiss houses in just one single place. This hill has a challenge that there are a lot of avalanches, so that's something very interesting when you are designing a project. You have to respond to the site and then respond to the climate. So basically this tower cannot be placed in New York or sim in some other village. It was important that we also focus on a site in specific, which was this particular region on the, on the terrain. So we made uh, a larger scale model here. And the aim is now to study the building form, what kind of building best responds to this site. Which are having a metal plate. Here in Hasilu we are focusing much more on details and designing into the very millimeter precision and also the Swiss standards, we all know they are very, very precise. It's always nice to try making quick models and then come to the photo studio lab and see if what you are making is going in the right direction or not. Many times in architecture we talk about light and shadow and now I can really relate if the shadow pattern which I am expecting, is it coming out or not. This semester we had this interesting project. We were introduced this problem of a house from Paul Kedgerholm. Uh, his wife was actually the architect of the house and we made certain interventions in the house to fit it for contemporary use. Uh, while doing that we were really interested in looking at different materials. We go to the material library uh, when we need different kind of material samples. We tend to touch them, we feel them. I was searching for different types of insulations and it's, it's uh, when you come from a country abroad like India, you really have to see what all materials you use and this material library gives a very nice collection of all the materials they use. We have like 1000 different kinds of materials from grass to wood, paper, mineral sheets, metal sheets, textiles. It's, it's very nice to see all the samples in your hand and really feel them and have a look if, if they are suitable or not for your project. You see the difference like how in other universities uh, you just design stuff and then things are over but here we design stuff and then also build it. Last semester we had a tower project and we were supposed to make a tower for a cultural event here in uh, Horf in Lausanne and then in two months the tower was built up and it's already standing there and it's much appreciated by other people. The whole project was supposed to be done in wood. Students from Switzerland, China and India were working on it. These, these are in interesting boards actually. The whole room inside is made of shoelace plaits which is a good construction technique, but you really have to have uh, detailed drawings, like millimeter precisions for it to get completely manufactured at the factory and then you just bring them on the site and 
put them in place. But I, I'm, I really appreciate that this construction was fantastic. It was like so detailed and so fine that there weren't many problems while the actual construction started. The position of Lucerne is very nice. I mean, you can go anywhere in Switzerland within two, three hours. And from Switzerland, you can go all around Europe in quite a few, quite less time. And then also when you travel around, you see a completely different architecture from, from our home university. So in a way, we develop a very broad perspective towards architecture and seeing the world with different eyes. Mm -hmm.